welcome to the channel. So I think the plan today is uh, just, just to get the second coat of paint onto the car. So why I titled this uh, this one, More Paint. Um, now, before I do that, I, I'm gonna need to obviously do quite a, an important ritual, which is obviously to uh, get some wet and dry and sand back that, that last coat that we did so that there's a good key for the next one. Um, before I do, do that, I just wanted to say thank you to some of the previous comments I had from the last video. Um, honestly, some really, really good interaction from everybody and I appreciate all the, all the comments that came my way, particularly the one about uh, the compressor. The, now, the compressor, in case you didn't know, has been causing me some problems. It's only a tiny little thing, let me show you. Here it is over there. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's reasonable, uh, but it is cheap, and it's quite a small little thing. It's only I think a lot of people ask me how powerful it is. Let's have a look. I think it's a 1.5, yeah, 1.5 horsepower, uh, eight bar. It's, it's not, yeah, as you can see, it's not not a big beastie. And to be honest with you, I never brought it for that. I actually only brought a compressor uh, to blast out like uh, dirt and debris that's uh, in the car. I, I do quite a lot of vehicle detailing, so this was part of my hoovering out method and car drying technique. Uh, I never really brought it to, to paint cars such as this one. Um, but it seems to be doing the job. Now, someone uh, has been really, really helpful and has suggested a way to get rid of the water problem. Now, in case you've got any of you out there had the same issue, basically what this gentleman has said, it's almost impossible to get rid of water entirely um, because you know the atmosphere has water in it, doesn't it? Uh, basically, really the only way you're gonna get rid of that is to get what's called, an I think you call it an inline water trap. So uh, I haven't got one of those just yet. I've been browsing the internet and to make sure I get the right one, but that sounds like a brilliant, brilliant idea. And uh, I will definitely be ordering one of those um, to stop with any water blobs going on <laughs> to the car because it, it really, really does spoil it a little bit. But yeah, so totally appreciate that. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, we had a couple of comments about the tacking cloth part when we uh, rubbed it down and got the prep ready last time. I think someone caught Ian not wearing a pair of gloves. Of course, once we uh, rub it down with a tacking cloth, really to touch it again, we're putting grease back onto the car, which makes it almost pointless. So thank you. I didn't actually notice that. We will make sure that Ian is suitably punished and I'll I might make him walk the plank. What do you reckon? <laughs> He's not here to defend himself or why not? So yeah, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna be using a bucket of water, a little bit of fairy washing up liquid in it. And I should have, uh, what is it, about 500? Yeah, I mean, I've got 500. I think preferably I'd like to use 600. I think that's probably the recommended. This, this, this will do, it's a, little tad, it's a tad aggressive. Um, and basically what we're gonna be doing is rubbing this coat back a little bit so it's ready to, to receive another coat of paint on, on top of it. Um, I don't think the idea here is to scrub it to death. We're not, not we're, what we're trying to do. Uh, I think really we're just looking to just take that shine off of it a little bit and make sure it's a perfectly keyed area, nice and clean, ready for that next coat to lay on there. Um, and then that will be both coats of the uh, of this colour on, the uh, British Maroon. And then hopefully next week we'll have enough drying time to get the top and inside done. Now, I'm sure some people are going to ask me why I didn't do inside and the top first. To be honest with you, we debated both ways. They both sounded like a nightmare. Um, I, th I think, really, I was quite eager to get to get the uh, the majority of the car painted. But, yeah, we, we will be masking this all up, all up properly. Um, so none of this will really be affected. I am going to be spraying the clear coat on the whole car as one thing. So... Once, we're, uh, once we've got the interior painted, we're going to be using clear coat for the whole thing, um, which is exciting. I'm mean, hopefully we're only a couple of weekends away from that. If I can uh, pull my finger out and get this done. Um, I'm not sure if Ian's going to join us today. Uh, we'll see. He might be here. He said he might be here at one o'clock, but sometimes, you know what he's like. He uh, is a Sunday, so he might, he, he might not turn up, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's hook the phone up. I'll stop ranting and we'll crack on.
Um, that's all now sanded off. I'm pretty happy, pr pretty happy with that. Like I said, I don't think the idea was to, you know, go too mad. We just basically wanted to just flatten it down, make sure there's a nice key. And uh, we're sort of in the realms now of doing the second coat. A couple of little jobs I need to do before. Again, I keep kind of repeating myself, but in case you're a first time watcher, it's going to be really important to go around the car with the degreaser. And we're going to be using a uh, tacking cloth. And this time, <laughs> making sure that we've got gloves on. Yeah, uh, last time Ian was caught not wearing his gloves whilst doing the tacking cloth. And the reason that apparently is wrong is obviously there's grease on our hands. And of course, if we're then touching the body of the car, you know, it sort of lost its purpose. OK, so quite important that we've got gloves on. And the only other little thing I might do before doing any of that is to give this place another hoover round. And uh, I mean, I've just been using my steam cleaner um, just to kind of not wet the floor i just make it a bit damp make sure that the uh that there's no dust that can jump up onto the car whilst uh, whilst it's being sprayed so yeah i might just run run the steam cleaner around probably wouldn't hurt give it a little tidy up and then we'll hook it up now so this might be interesting i don't know if ian's going to turn up or not so filming this <laughs> could be uh challenging if he doesn't appear because of course i'm going to be needing to uh obviously use the the spray the spray gun so i might be filming this a little bit differently but we'll see how we go you never know he might turn up yet off the phone uh, from talking to Matt, um, a guy that's been really giving me loads of tons of advice on uh, how to do this this kind of properly. Um, he certainly um, steered me away from my first attempt of trying to rub it down the wrong way and paint it with hammer art and stuff. We are trying to do it properly and we've just been chatting about this kind of two-tone uh, car with the, in terms of colour because he's just, uh, he's just mentioned something that I didn't really consider being a problem. Um, basically, this is, well, the bottom of the car is going to be British Maroon Red, and the top I want it to be like Coach Carriage Cream. Um, I think I've showed a picture in the last, the last episode. I'm just going to show you a photo now. So this is kind of the colours that we're going for. They're British Royal kind of colours. I just thought that kind of might look kind of cool. Uh, one of the issues apparently that we might have is uh, bleeding through the, the masking tape. Uh, so I think Matt's kindly offered potentially to come over and just give me some pointers for next time. But from what I gather, uh, when doing two-tone colours, um, well, I say two-tone, uh, different colours, you know, and blending them together, a lot of the time, one of the colours bleeds through the masking tape and ends up on your nice, <laughs> nicely painted finish on there. So what I think we're going to do is, well, for one, I'm going to research the right tape to do. If you guys can help me out there, can anybody recommend tips for, for this at all? Um, I must admit, I, I've been putting these videos out and some of the comments that have been coming back have been incredibly helpful. So if you've got any suggestions in terms of what the correct tape or right procedure for this would be uh, <laughs> for when I do this attempt next week, that would be largely helpful. Uh, from what I gather, one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest things we're going to have to do is when we do spray the cream on, is to spray the same colour as this first, so at least it ble bleeds through uh, the right colour. If that makes sense, um, Matt's going to take me into more depth next week with that. But I've got a week to gather stuff from Amazon and eBay and things if I need to get special tape. So yeah, if anybody's got good comments on that, let me know. Um, otherwise, um, I'm pretty much ready to go and, and get this thing painted. Uh, last little thing I'm going to do is use some of this uh, Antisil. This is basically uh, body prep. Now, um, I did have a guy comment on the channel last, uh, well, from the last one, who said apparently you will get away with window lean and things like that. You know, that's, that's pretty cool because, um, yeah, this was quite expensive. But, yeah, um, yeah, I'm sure there's quite a few things you can use. But, yeah, window lean is usually one you've got knocking around your cupboard. So thank you for that. Um, so we're going to get this rubbed down. And then lastly, the tacking cloth. I think Ian... Is coming over on his motorbike, so I'll have someone to film this for me because it was going to be a bit of a problem to film it on my own. Fingers crossed he turns up. This is good news, I think I can hear him. So I've got to his bike. <laughs> there he is, look. Say hello YouTube. <laughs> hello YouTube. Hello Mr. Blowfish. <laughs> How are you mate? Right, I thought you sounded muffled on the phone. <laughs> How are you? You're right. So Ian, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Look, he's out on his bike there. Thank oh, I'm actually glad you turned up because filming this was going to be a real problem. So I have good and bad news. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, 
Thank you, sir. The bad news is someone has commented on the channel saying that you, sir, were not wearing your rubber gloves. Not whilst, rubber, uh, oh, gloves. Yeah, latex gloves whilst uh, tacking tacking cloth down. To be, to be honest with you, that's a fair point. Uh, I didn't really realise how important that was, but now it's been mentioned by two people. Yes, I think, uh, I think you should be punished, sir. <laughs> so, down here, do you see what this is? You didn't even recognise it, did you? If you look down here, oh, that is the plank. Uh, <laughs> it's the other side of the plank. Do you remember the plank, Ian? Oh, yes. Uh, here, and for those of you that have not seen the plank before, uh, here it is. Uh, I had to walk the plank because I did make my 50 subscriber target. Yes. So, here's what I propose. If I get 10, 10 people yeah. that vote that you should walk the plank for this, you shall, sir, you shall have to walk the plank. Do you think that's a fair... Uh, you never know, people might not think you need to walk the plank, but for those of you out there that agree with me, I think he should walk the plank and it would be utterly hilarious. Uh, 10 comments, guys. I need 10 comments. <laughs> right, so to the good news. Yep. <laughs> the good news. Uh, oh, yes. 200, 200 subscribers, in. 200, that's good. I can't believe that, because yeah. when we filmed this last one, we were at 149. Nine, yeah. So that means we had 51 in those few days, which is awesome. So if, if you are one of those subscribers, welcome, guys, welcome. So, yeah, we're going to tack and cloth this down. <coughs> it's basically the same episode as we did last time. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, a bit samey. Uh, I'm either all welding or all body filling or all painting apparently and there's more painting to come next week as well so just uh, hang in there it's going to be good though because at least this is going to be the final coat of british maroon on these yeah right let's uh get the tacking cloths latex gloves on <laughs> and let's see how we go for those of you that have seen the channel before i'm almost certain you would have seen this this is a uh, tacking cloth so basically what it says on the tin, a tacky cloth. We're gonna go back over the, everything on the car uh, that, uh, that's gonna need painting and get rid of every single, uh, well, I say every single, pretty much every single bit of dirt, dirt and uh, sand or residue on there. Really good to use this. I think um, if you avoided this part, you might get some bad results, I don't know, but everybody I know that's into painting definitely, definitely bothers with, well, with this part anyway. Cooker. Uh, look, do you know what? I, I don't even know. I don't even care if it's uh, not a thing. It, I, I've made it my thing. It, I seem to be getting a really good job on this, and this could be one of the reasons why. So we'll stick with it. Okay. So we'll do the same as we did last time. We'll thin it out a little bit with that. It's almost an identical episode, this one, isn't it? Second coat. Oh, there's loads in there. Yeah. And afterwards. We'll go with that much, shall we? Do you reckon that'll paint it all? Yep. Should do. Cool. That's in there. And I've got enough left over for something. I don't know what for, but... Put that back on there like that. A little bit so it comes out of the gun a bit better. Now, something I'm in interested to do, Ian, is to try and set that compressor so it only comes out at 40 PSI. That might have been something that I got wrong last time. Um, is the gun apparently requires 40 psi minimum is it well thing is the problem is with this compressor it, it's not powerful it, you know it sort of gives you all for like eight seconds and yeah it loses power so it might be worth cranking it back so it keeps an even spray the whole time a nice car actually isn't it it is down so i don't know if i've been doing this wrong but i just dialed this down so it squirts out at 40 psi hopefully that that helps it keep even because like i said it sort of charges up you pull the trigger and then it runs out of power quite easily up maybe about 10 seconds so i'm going to try and keep it even um it might take a little longer it might be less powerful but at least the whole thing will be even that's the theory right let's have a little test shot um, Oh, 
Is it on? Is that on? No, I think you switched it off, haven't we? <laughs> Is it's not got as much power behind it now. Yeah. Again, this isn't really a tutorial because <laughs> this is my first time painting a car, but I will share share with some of you in case you uh, are inspired about by me for some reason. <laughs> there was one guy that was kind of sort of following what I'm doing, so uh, I should add a little bit of content to that, should I? Right, so. When I spray this, I'm starting with the gun pressed before I sort of go through. What's that, and I'm oh. What's that doing that for? Right, as I was saying. <laughs> um, as I go through, I'm going to rotate and keep it probably about, what do you reckon? Yeah. About yay much. Again, I'm no expert, but it seems to be layering on quite nice. Don't want it too close, don't want it too high. Sort of, yeah, what do you reckon? Maybe 15 right centimetres yep. or so away, and then travelling through. I don't know why it's leaking like that. I think that. you might have filled it up a bit more than normal. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, let's see, here we go. That's as much tuition from me. <laughs> right, Tully. <Holly>. Be maroon. <laughs> maroon? It's definitely on, isn't it? Yeah. All right, here we go. There we go we are all done we're hoping that is the final the final coat on there um we're gonna well that's got nearly a week to dry now because uh, i don't really have much time during the week because uh, i'm doing other bits and bobs but uh i think the next thing to do well i need to sand this back again would you believe it mm. not very much it needs to be done with like 1500 to 2000 grit i think um, I'll do a bit of research on that, but yeah, we'll need uh, sanding back before the lacquer coats, but not too bothered about that just yet because obviously I've got the colour on the top going on. Uh, this is uh, next weekend, hopefully, yep. isn't it? Yeah. Um, sounds like a bit of a menace. I didn't realise how, how difficult it is to do a two-tone... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, go on, the dust. <laughs> not dust, sorry, the fumes. <coughs> um, yeah, I didn't realise how how much of a faff it might be to get this kind of two-tone thing so yeah like i said matt's going to come hopefully and give me some guidance about how to deal with it but yeah look at that i mean it really is looking pretty good i mean cheap old sprayer really how much was that ian 100 pounds yeah it even came with with one of those i mean admittedly i went out and brought the uh the draper gun but yeah it's not a fancy one at all but yeah, that, that looks terrific. Would you think, Ian? Yeah, excellent, yeah. No longer a green car, <laughs> which I know some people might be annoyed about. Now, all I would say to that is, do you think that was the original green on it anyway? No, no exactly. Um, I did hunt around. I'm sure I could find the original colour, but I just, you know, I thought 
I fancy something a little bit different. So who knows? In the future, I might paint it back back to green. But for now, I, I quite like the idea of having kind of a British Rail Service kind of looking car. Thought that might look pretty cool. And I think, judging from what it looks like at the moment, I think I made a good choice. Mm -hmm. I think that looks fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's so yeah, uh, do apologise, that's pretty much the same episode as what it was before, basically every single step was exactly the same, but I didn't want to leave you guys out of the, obviously the wet, and, the wet and dry process, in case you are sort of following a similar method to this one. be it for now. Yep. Uh, we will see you in the next one. Uh, hopefully we get into the second colour next oh, time. Yeah. So that's the plan. Um, and as it's quite a nice day out there, and Ian has brought his bike, he's made me a little bit jealous, and I need to go let my parents' chicken out for a little run or something so uh what an excuse to get the motorbikes out i think uh have you got anything to say anything? Oh, no. no it never does <laughs> <laughs> anyway cheers guys have a good week and we will see you in the next one and uh thank you to all the subscribers that are here so far right. and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel we really really do appreciate the support um and hit that notification bell. Now, someone has actually told me, apparently the notification bell icon or something is missing or something. I'm gonna look oh. into that. But yeah, you should, if, if, if you can, turn in the notification bell, that way you'll know I'm gonna release uh, new content. Anything else? Oh, and if you did like it, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Cheers, guys, that's enough from us. See you later, bye-bye. Well, why not? Let's get you on the channel too. <laughs> my daughter's come out to see what my work has been like. Hey. And so it's Catherine. Do you want, what do you think? Hello, you're yeah, really good. What do you think, Erin? Thumbs up. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>